Um, Benjamin Reese here with you on commentary. Joined for this game as Hillary departs by everyone's favourite Irishman, Liam Grant. Yes, this is Liam Grant. Definitely everyone's favourite Irishman, including all of Lorcan Murray's close family and friends. Who? Who? Exactly. exactly. Is, is he here? I didn't think so. Uh, we've got some mixed division action now. The way the tournament works is uh, the game slots alternate between open and women's and mixed. So we're now in a mixed round where Jogo Benito Social Club in the black jerseys are facing KWR Gnuri from Poland in the yellow jerseys. To like, oh, to the yellow and black, I think, is a pretty good look. Debatable. This will both be a game of ultimate and fashion. And um, right now, I think Yogo are a little sleeker. Yellow, like, that is not the top color for an ultimate jersey, I feel. Uh, you say that, but they actually have numbers on the back. Yeah, that. Oh, <laughs> uh, they're going to try and shoot you there. Number 22 is going to make the catch. Uh, Watroba for the poles, and they're going to start. Oh, and it's a travel, travel called. And this is what happens when you have uh, Americans on your team. They'll go call crap. Oh, that's just kidding. Wow, the man on the fired. mark. The man on the mark is actually Colombian as well, and has represented Colombia in the world stretching championships. As well. that's, that's not a thing, surely. Well, he, he showed me at the bonfire his skills, and I was very impressed. Not going to lie. So some of the main players to watch for this, uh, for this, for this KWR team are going to be the Dobronovsky brothers. Uh, Lukas, number 12, and Philip, number 91. And they're going to try and look for one of them there. And, oh, just Jogo Benito get a hand in the middle and knock it away. Uh, you're a man of the world, Liam. Do you know what Jogo Benito means? It means old, old wooden ship. No, I, I don't think that's right. <laughs> that's diversity, isn't it? <laughs> uh, I think, isn't, isn't, it, isn't it like Port Brazilian Portuguese? Does it mean beautiful game? I, yes. seem to remember, I seem to remember that from loads of old Nike adverts. Oh. And the Colombian man gathers that one up using his stretchy arms and stretches that one right into a Polish player. Yeah, that was less than ideal. Uh, I, I apologies for... Uh, the players on Jogo Benito because, uh, yeah, because you handily don't have numbers, we can't. I mean, we might struggle to identify you. Yeah, an identity crisis is currently on this team. Most of them are actually scarecrows and are on this field purely to scare Team Radio Shower. That is why they're here at this event. That is the primary goal. And let's see if they can achieve that. Not enough, not enough good rivalries in Ultimate. Possibly the biggest rivalry in Ultimate that I know. And it's not oh, a goal. That's you what were, it's not. You were so ready for it to go that goal. <laughs> well, Throbo got deep and it just spat off his hands. That was not, not the intended, intended method of catching that. So it's uh, not a goal. Uh, sorry, I don't know why uh, saying 1-0. It's, it's, it's definitely still 0-0. No one scored yet. Yeah, that, that's for sure. Nobody, nobody deserves a point yet. Clean sheets all around so far. Bit of rain in the air now, which is, uh, again, slightly less than ideal. Nice underneath cut there for Jogo Benito. Thinks about the dish off. Is they're going to take it? Oh, wow, the wind flattered up and well caught anyway. Good focus there. You can take the dish off, looking towards the end zone. Swing option available. Stegger's going to go for a backhand, trying to roll it back in towards the receiver. Incomplete though, so another chance for KWR. Yeah, and the only thing harder than playing Ultimate in his wind is uh, watching and talking about people playing Ultimate in the wind. So a big, big challenge here for me and Benji, but we're going to ride it out. We're going to do it. We're uh, going to carry this game. Sorry, Liam, I can't hear you because of the wind. You have to speak up. <laughs> Looking to get an up the line cut. Very cluttered in there, but Philip Dobronowski manages to find a little tiny bit of space. Looking for the lefty, gets the disc into the centre for Sosna. And shoots deep and there is nobody there. Yeah, we've seen Dobnowski's playing for the Polish uh, mixed national team and that lefty backhand hook 
and his lefty flick hook are, have been real weapons for them in the past, but that one just throwing to nobody, which was not not the best idea. Yeah, slightly an unusual decision. And there's a deep shot looking to get one of their women going deep on oh, the back of the end zone. Might catch up with her. I think had she made the catch, she would have been in bounds. It's difficult to tell exactly where the back of the end zone line is, but just a touch too far. And both sides looking a little sloppy early on, it has to be said. I think that is Hugo Schuess there, the German player who couldn't gather that one up. You might have seen it with the German mixed speech national team. Often playing with her uh, Yogo hat, but not today, unusually, when she is actually playing for Yogo. So I guess you don't want to overdo it, right? Uh, as it's been said, they are uh, a fashion brand first and uh, a Frisbee team second. Uh, right, okay. They have, you can buy all the kit on their Etsy store. It is uh, fashionably overpriced, like any good fashion brand should be. And actually... Um, oh, perfect for millennials then. That throw is not going to come in and tails out this sideline. So went up pretty early on as well, I think. So going to give Jogo a good field position. Sorry, Liam. Yeah, this has been a long first point and may end up being the last point the way things are going. Well, we'd have to have a cap, wouldn't we? <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be, it could be a 1-0. One 1-0 nil. One nil or no? 2-0. Oh. 2-0. Two nil. Two nil. Someone's keeping a clean sheet. Maybe even a 2-1. Nice. Light shots from our camera crew. Down here, Ultra TV crew providing the coverage this weekend. Dead excited. A little debate about where the disc went out. <laughs> he, this man's just going to walk as far as he can, which I like. Uh, I think there was someone on the sideline giving him some advice. Snag with one hand. Gets the around break. Handler comes all the way across the field. Not in yet. Right on that front cone. Jinking and jiving and jams in the jam hole. And we do get a goal, Liam. Yogo Bonito on the scoreboard. Little jinky jank in the end zone. Two players free. Ended up being gathered in by the little dinky handler. Having a little smile. Look at that. No, isn't that nice? So here's the question. Is it Yogo Bonito or Jogo Bonito? Surely Yogo. Because right? I thought, I thought if, if it's Portuguese, you would pronounce the J. Yeah, you could be right there. Like Jose Mourinho. Or other famous Portuguese. <laughs> Uh, Sal Jorge, the man who did the uh, soundtrack for the Life Aquatic. He's Brazilian, but obviously, same obviously Portuguese. Yeah. That's a good film, that. Yeah, it is a good film. Obviously, like, like now I'm thinking about a Wes Anderson directed Frisbee, Frisbee game. <laughs> It'd be colorful. It definitely wouldn't be this game, I'll tell you that much. Although, quite uh, colorful personalities on the field. I just imagine his perfectly symmetrical offense going down the field. The soundtrack would be fantastic. And his seven on the line would be Owen, would be Owen Wilson, Bill <laughs> Murray. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be wearing fetching, fetching red beanie hats. That is 100% correct. So here's Piasic. Finds a cutter coming underneath. Kosmowski. Oh, nice low grab there. Tiberowska. Trying to shoot to the back of the end zone. Nicely weighted shot. It's caught by Matthew Kosmowski. The vision there to see that third receiver coming in. And like, you know, you got to throw at the end zone to, to score goals. That's a fact. That's a fact that a lot of people forget. Oh, I mean, you could score. You could catch Callahan's, but then it, I guess someone's still throwing it <laughs> at the end zone. <laughs> It's definitely a good idea. It's a good way of scoring. The primary way I would score would be throwing it to the end zone. I'd throw a Josh at the end zone and let someone do a definitely not travel jump in. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if that was the intended receiver, but she'll claim that it was. Visionary. And then I guess that's just good backup from your offense, really, isn't it? And was that was that an old point? Or was that the it hole? Was, it was. It was a nice clean hole. Yeah. Marching it down for a goal. Both teams using their full roster. We've almost seen 
18, 20 players for both teams so far. Obviously that first point would have been very tiring and everyone would need a breather after that one. It was a bit of a marathon first point. Roll curving backhand. It's not going to land in the pitch and uh, I would not brick that. I would definitely take that from the sideline. Yeah, it's probably the better sideline to be on. It's, it's the upwind side, so not too much pressure on this sideline. You can never tell with this wind. It just feels like it's a bit going everywhere. It was definitely going out my tent a lot last night. It was uh, <laughs> very, very tight. That was actually me at your tent, Benji. Oh, almost there, the opportunity, and a quick pop in the end zone. Good effort, though, from the Polskis. That's the risk of going for those bids, is that if you don't get there, you leave players open, and then they just ran the gauntlet into the end zone for the 2-1 Jogobanito lead. And I'd like to see that nice spirit slapping hands. It's a pretty, is that a boar on the front of the jersey? It looks pretty ferocious regardless. They just snuck the inside, the bid just a split second too late. And then with the defender not able to cover, just run the little dink and dunk give go into the end zone. Chance now for the Polskis. Let's see if we can see some more boring offense from them. Yeah? No, I want, I want some spice. <laughs> like, I've got, I've got a bit of a cold, so like, like some throws with some sriracha on them just to like maybe, blow it out maybe would be some lovely. wild boring offense like wild oh boars. i see we, yeah, yeah sorry my brain is mush <laughs> at the moment Liam. all our brains are mush it's windmill oh we've got mush fest 2018 is kicking off we've got like three more days of this man <laughs> we're gonna be by the end of it just gonna be like shells of men so yeah uh jogo bonito looking to carry momentum after winning fashionals um, just a few months ago, <laughs> the Fashion National Champions, which I just made up there a while ago, but have won, surprisingly. No, no, I, if you, should, you, you should just stuck with it, and I'd have believed you. <laughs> uh, Dobrovsky is going to put it deep. Oh, he's going to find his receiver inside. That is not inside. There is a decoy line. Alicia Steb on the end zone, having to work this one a little further, and there is the goal. And they are scoring their own points quick. Yeah, that was uh, that was that was a bit of spice. You like that, Liam? I liked it. I thought it was very wild, boorish. That's what I thought it was like. It was a bit boorish, a bit in your face. <laughs> yeah, good, nice, strong. It's bit... possibly the painful yellow color of the jerseys is scaring off the Jogo defenders. Obviously, fashion is their thing, and just having such. Extreme colors in your face. Thing. Yeah, yeah, it's it's an interesting tactic. Is this like these uh, these like poison frogs you get in the Amazon that are like the big the bright colors to tell you please don't eat me I will kill you. Yeah, they they can't get close to the Polish players as it's upsetting their their fashion. Soul. A little bit blinding. Yeah. I think we might have to have a fashionals. Oh yeah, hundred percent. We're gonna have to organize that. He's got the best jerseys in Europe. Do you know what? I just com commented a Ragnarok game. I think oh, their baby blues are actually quite nice. I love, love a powder blue, me. Yeah. Love a powder blue. Your powder blue is a more accurate blue than what the jersey is. Thank you, Benji, for correcting that. So yeah, we're here at Amsterdam Fashion Week. <laughs> and uh, who are you wearing, Benji? Uh, I'm wearing uh, high-tech Slazenger jogging bottoms. Interesting, Clearly interesting. Clearly highest of high fashion. Is that is that winter 2018 that we're looking at there? Is that the range? Oh, it's from their special sports direct range. 80% <laughs> off. Nice. And Yogo, 80% of the way down the field right now, looking to get to the end zone. Love getting really wide with that pivot. Really trying to get the defender to bite and they just squeeze it down that line. Don't really need to get it off the line where you can just work it down. So 3 2 to Jogo. Some uh, high class pivoting there. That was a lesson in pivoting for us all to enjoy. Taking some, uh, take some lessons from her fellow stretching champions. That's, that's indeed. Champs all round. I, I, I'll be honest, I, I'm terrible at stretching. My old physio once said I was the most inflexible person she'd ever seen, which I took as a compliment. It wasn't, it wasn't meant to be a compliment, but I refuse to see her point of view. It was too inflexible. I think I might, I've also heard this physio, so we should have an inflexibility off. Who can touch their toes the least? 
I don't know how you measure inflexibility. I guess you like, get a stretch and you see how badly you do it. Yeah. Uh, I don't know, we're stretching this metaphor all pretty thin. <laughs> <laughs> so a bit, a bit of rain in the air now, a bit of moisture, which is obviously exactly what both teams wanted at this stage. Yeah. It is uh, as wet as a moist towelette out here. And, uh, as the Polish try and bang another O point. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty damp. Just looking around, good coverage downfield from Jogo, but able to get the dump off. It's the middle to Filip Dobrodonovsky. I always feel like whenever he's got the disc, he always wants it deep. But it just takes a simple reset that time instead. Safe what with a little boring and well positioned there. On the shoulder, but not quite there. Zygmunt. Oh, going to get hand blocked and mopped up by a fellow Jogo player. Looking around, tries to squeeze it through, and Dombrovsky <laughs> just picks it back off. Here's Sosna. Squeezing it down the sideline. Oh, Dombrovsky's not going to get that. Going to go over the goal. And unfortunately, it's not hurling, so you don't get any points for that. No, no, only really good sports you get points for hitting it over the bar. That's when you know it's a great sport. Yes, when you when you miss. Well, you missed, but you missed in a certain way, so we'll get you points. Yeah. Good old That's island. A, great, I love it. Great island, great sport. What do you think, hurling or Gaelic football? Hurling by a million miles. I think everyone in the country has realised that now, that, like, if you have sticks, it's a better sport. Lovely shot there, everyone leading in from the sidelines, so you couldn't see anything. Seriously, guys, we've given you a three-meter line for a reason. Please, please don't stand in front of <laughs> him. <laughs> Looking for the deep shot. Oh, he's winding it up. It's going to blade towards that far side of the field. Raking across. And, oh, that's going to sit a little bit. No problem at all. It's a break for Jogo Benito. Taking a 4-2 lead. What a deep shot. Yeah, the man from the Bay Area guiding that one up. Great deep shot, read it well, then jams in, and that is the first break of the game, I do believe. I think you're right. Who knows what happened at first point? It, 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 nobody really knows. Yeah, the last game was a little late finishing, so kind of things got off. Things got off uh, just before we could get properly set. This first round of games is slightly shorter than the other rounds, so uh, things coming a little, for, a little more fast paced. We're settling to more of a rhythm by the time the next round of games comes on, obviously, the way the Swiss draw format works is we don't know what those games will be just yet. But as soon as we do find out, we will tell you. Or maybe we won't. We'll decide at the time. It will be a surprise. And it is 4-2 to Jogo Benito with a nice break on the upwind. And uh, Blady pull the start when it's on off. Dubrovsky now, looking to set up that first stack. Looking for a break size, Alicia's there. Hits the open one. Wants to disc back, a little shimmy shimmy. Bit of an Irish jig there as he goes up the line, fakes it again. I've got a point to bring up with you about that later. Here's Dobrodovsky. Nice low throws, just gonna be a touch too far. Or Irish dancing. What's, why, why do they move their upper body? What's up, what's up with that? Um, back about 200 years ago, Irish people didn't have an upper body. We were just all legs. Just a nation of legs. Happened to do with something with potatoes. I'm not entirely sure of it all. But it looks like the Polskis have it back. After that one hanging in the air. Oh, and... Michael Flatley himself getting a high with a big kick. And there's a call in the field. You know, dancing is a thing with your legs. Dancing isn't an upper body thing. Is, is it not? Is it not like a bit of both? I think the good thing is, though, if you ever go to river dance 
and you're not that tall and you can't see the stage so well and only see their upper bodies, it's quite an underwhelming experience. Yeah, that's that was exactly <laughs> the point I was going to make. That was another one. I mean, that's a really nice catch for KWR just to reduce the deficit by one. It's 4-3 still to Jogo Benito. Sorry, I'm just getting in the millennial spirit and just, uh, just Instagramming some shiz. <laughs> Yeah, make sure to check out Liam Grant, uh, Liam Granty on Instagram. Possibly the greatest ginger Irish frisbee Instagram you'll see today. Uh, if for some reason you want to follow me on Instagram and see all this, all all our windmill adventures, uh, I'm on Instagram at Benji Reese. That's Benji with a Y, not with an I. If you want to see what kind of monster do you think I am, uh, alternatively you can get in contact with us, get in contact with us via Twitter. Uh, I'm at Benjamin Reese. Do you have Twitter? Um, no. So you could maybe smoke signals, carrier pigeon. Yeah, just 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 yell into the ether, which is basically what Twitter is anyway. And the score is four three. You're going upwind. Nice catch on that pull there. Oh, and that one going up in the air. A little bounce by yeah. the Colombian. Reeled in regardless, though. Nice underneath, getting a few yards with that one. Trying to squeeze it up the line. Nice snag with one hand. I definitely learned a lot of names of this team last night at the fire pit. How many of them do you remember? Absolutely none. I do remember them, but just can't remember which ones are which. <laughs> Strong. So, no. Because <laughs> that doesn't help me, of course, because I've got the roster, but no numbers because they don't have numbers. I know what they look like beside flames, if that helps. If they were on fire right now, literally or metaphorically, I think I'd know them. Is that what we need to do? Do we need to, <laughs> do we need to get a fire pit here so you can remember everyone? Get okay, them in exactly the right light. Set. That was very close to being out, by the way. Yeah. Could have done a better job of keep making, of really, uh, really making sure and demonstrating his feet were in bounds. There were certainly a couple of, a couple of players on the side and who were dubious of that. That's under throw and it's going to be... Knocked away by KWR. Number 97. Give it the D. Yeah. Igor Saberiaska. Less function, more fashion at that point, giving it up. Sometimes you need to do both. But predominantly, you'll just see fashion from this team. Oh, can't capitalize on it, though. Just to throw a little bit too far. Got a hand on it. Couldn't reel it in, so more offense for Jogo Benito. So much fun to say that as well, isn't it? Looking downfield, goes for a lower round break, and that was probably too low. Definitely, there comes a point where it's just on the ground, and that's what it was. And that's, uh, I don't know if you know this, but if the disc hits the ground, it's a turnover. Yeah, elevation, very much so needed in the flight of a disc. So Pieter Schick is going to try and swing. Oh, there's a bit there available. Nice grab. By Mac Pettis, and he's going to immediately roast it deep. Living for Kosmalski. Oh, oh, what a grab! That is some sensational stuff from the poles to tie us up at four apiece. That's a little bit of spice, some sriracha on that shot. Oh, my word, that was magnificent. Two unbelievable plays there back to back. You make the layout grab, and you see someone go deep. You got to send us. Conservation of greatness. Sod your conservation of greatness. Oh, oh, and look at that ponytail wagging in the wind there. That was a great shot. Of you got you got lucky, Zygmunt. You got very <laughs> lucky because you very nearly stopped an excellent camera angle. <laughs> I enjoyed the, the ponytail in the foreground. Added some depth to the shot, you know? <laughs> yeah, a bit of colour in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, extra colour. Obviously, the yellow's enough colour. But Oh, that's a, a little bit of sizzle in this game now. Time to put fours. Feel like both sides getting, getting to hit their stride and hit their flow a little bit more now. You're right, you do a little do a little bounce, Liam. They got a little excited. Kind of starting to wake up. Just got delivered some caffeine. Woo! Talking about this with Hannah earlier, I, I got a Steve bag last night and 
somehow in unwrapping it, I, I put it on inside out, and I was like, no, that doesn't matter. That surely makes no difference whatsoever. It does make a difference. It makes it? a huge difference. <laughs> Not a big enough difference for me to actually Change get out of it and change it around, but yeah, I was like, wow, this seat bag sucks, but no, I suck as a human. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't have said that, but it's not entirely inaccurate. <laughs> Trying to try and squeeze it down the sideline. Catch doesn't stick. Another break chance for KWR. I'd say they go with the same thing again, make him lay out for the swing and then bang it deep. Oh, it's just straight, just an easy catch this time. So there's no bang. Disappointing. You have to think. We find the underneath. Oh, and that was a little kick in the back, was it? That is not allowed. No, no. Maybe someday it will be, or if you're playing the ADL, but around these parts, you can't be doing that. No, uh, AUDL. I, 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 I tell you what, I, I, won't, I won't make my comments on the <laughs> ADL here. But Maybe you a commentator, but you're not going to, no comment on that one. Yeah, you could probably work out exactly, uh, exactly what my feelings are from the no comment. Jogo, what an opportunity now. We see the big German handler with the disc, being conservative, stereotypically. Oh, and that one somehow gets there. Oh, and a shot to the end zone. And oh, it's a great goal. That's a lovely shot. That one hung up beautifully. Arced into the wind. Great goal. Don't want to overshoot it, or you may end up in someone's tent in this field here. And actually, that did happen last game. We did get a couple of discs going over towards the camping area. There's the party camping there. You actually can't see it from this field, but we've got the quiet camping behind field six. You would have seen it on the other stream. So you've come from that previous game with Hannah. You had Ragnarok versus the Big Easy. What happened over there? Uh, Ragnarok ran riot. It was um, not a tight match at all. Oh. Yeah, I think Ragnarok have some very good pickups. They, they, uh, there's, there are, uh, yeah, someone looking mysteriously ginger and very rapid along the ground. You're right about the the mysterious and ginger part. I will not go too far with all the rapidness. Um, yeah, oh, it was, didn't, I didn't mean you, Liam. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's why he's called Gash, don't you? Because he's the ginger flash. I, I heard that as well. I was wondering if we were going to see a ginger flash. Uh, in the game, but we did not. I think someone saw one in their tent last night. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get into the wrong end of a sleeping bag. <laughs> Here's Filip Dobrodovsky. Well, that was a beautiful pronunciation. Say that again one more time. Give it to me. Dobrodovsky goes for the swing and it's dropped. So this is good field position for Jogo. Can break again, restore a two point advantage. Looking around the back. Oh, gets really wide to get that swing off. Gonna squeeze it into the middle with an IO flick. Bit of roll curve on that forehand. Not in the end zone just yet. I wonder what he's gonna use to get himself in here. Go for something creative or just takes the boring reset. Sensible, but boring. And again, just dumps it off. Swing around. Oh, going to just laser it to the break side. A little bit of Oyo on that one. Yeah, he shoots, he scores. They were being patient for a while, and he said, screw nah. this, I'm going to grab the, the boar by the horns and <laughs> just ping it into the end zone. Nice. And see a replay of the previous goal. So that's two on the trot for Yogo. Jogo Bonito, Jogo Bonito. La, 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 la. <laughs> As we see Yoga Bonita there, out of focus on camera, but in focus on the field. In, and in focus in our hearts. <laughs> so 6 4 to Yoga Bonita, the current scoreline. It's Benji Reese and Liam Grant here with you at the wonderful surrounds of Windmill in Amsterdam. I'm so excited to be, I cannot tell you how long I've been looking forward to this, Liam. Cannot tell you. 
Because you, you don't remember or you just weren't looking forward to that much? Oh, and it's just like, I've just had, like, I've just been, like, had this biggest smile on my face for weeks. Like, leaving work on Tuesday I was like, I don't have to see anyone here for a week. <laughs> <laughs> Go and commentate on Frisbee instead. We drink some beer, meet some friends, commentate on some high quality art with it, win the mingle competition. What more could you want? I'm going to win the mingle competition this year. I was shafted last year. Dobrovsky's going to bang it deep. And the defender comes steaming through. <laughs> that was a scary Yogo player <laughs> coming up the sideline there. Gets it gathered up. Chance for three on the, on the roll. <coughs> this one put out the space. It's probably going to drift away. Benji suffering from smallpox, it would seem. Well, well, what, maybe just cowpox. <laughs> Ballpox. Yeah, sorry about that, everyone. Uh, Unfortunately, this this, grav this wonderful, sexy gravity voice comes in the price. Your firstborn child. And now we see Dubrovsky getting it now. As um, our rosters go flying. <laughs> 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 you let go of them for a split second and the wind takes it. That's a, pretty good, that's a pretty good example of how windy it is there. I let go of it for a split second and all of a, su and all of a sudden they're uh, halfway across the field. Jogo Benito with a chance and another break. If they can just force it in and it's... Just going to die before she can get there. As you see the Jogo Benito roster go flying across the field. Much like their players in this game. I really hope someone doesn't slip on Does that. Does that technically count as having more than seven aside? <laughs> so they've got, now got all their players on the field. <laughs> it's Filip Doplanovsky. The lefty faking that big deep put. It's going to try and squeeze it through. And uh, guilty of already looking upfield when he was going for the catch. He was really looking upfield there. He, he stopped looking several seconds into that. And the blade is caught uh, slightly dubiously, but it is caught. And that's another break for Jogo Benito. 7-4, the current scoreline. Three in a row. And something has dawned on me. So we're calling them KWR Kanuri. Is it possible they're just called Kawir Kanuri? I learned something recently about uh, what we would call CS. S-K-A Moscow. The Siska. It's Siska. Siska. Mos it's Siska Moscow. Maybe it's just Kawir Kanuri. So the, yeah, the difference between uh, an ac uh, between yeah acro acronyms and initialisms. Yes. <laughs> Obviously, an acronym you can pronounce as a word, and initialisms you can't. So NASA would be an acronym, and uh, RSPCI or whatever is an initialism. Yeah. So is it? Which one is it? Please vote now <laughs> on your keypads. <laughs> yeah. Pass this finger first. Let's ask the audience. Queer. I'm going to call him Queer. 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 <laughs> and also, is it a silent K? Is it Nuri or Kanuri? I'm going to go Queer Kanuri. We have, so much, we have so much to learn. <laughs> we have so much to learn. And we have a little intention of doing so. Life is full of mysteries. <laughs> Speak for yourself, I am highly <laughs> professional. Queer back on offense. He's going to stop the roll. Going with a split sack here. I say in two cutters. Resorts to the handler. But definitely more defined cutting now from uh, KWR, but a vagrant swing there is going to cost them. Yeah, about halfway through this game now, time wise. First round of games in each division to 70, uh, uh, played in 75 minute slots rather than 90. Oh, that's just behind and it's going to be gobbled up by the poles. Low cut comes underneath, right on this sideline. Big force. He's going to try and squeeze it down the line again. Another toe in, he's going to boost it deep. Oh, that's going to flow. Bit of a hospital pass. And he was not the intended target, but it mattered not one iota. That was an incredible grab from the formerly known gobbler, Lord Gobblington himself, <laughs> gobbling up everything. That was like a, a trailing hand grab over his uh, defender. He was not in the great position, but somehow used his gobbliness. Wojciech Pisic coming over the top there to make that catch. That was a that was some uh, inspired stuff there from him. 
Yeah, that's the bookends, if I believe. I'm gonna have a look at it on the replay. This is from the previous point. That was previous point. You're right. I could recognise the roster on the field. That was the cycle over his mate as he caught that blade, but a catch is a catch. And that was the uh, up the line throw that was dropped. So it's uh, I don't know. It's it's seven five rather than eight four. Just if we can catch our uh, cameraman's attention. I think we talked about this game um, a couple of days ago when we saw those matchups. So this one is, is potentially not a blowout. A lot of blowouts in round one, but I think we all agreed that KWI were uh, underseeded and they're showing that now. Um, still a point or two behind, but in this Swiss draw format, it's not so much about winning, but just staying staying close. Oh, and a, just a little drop there from. Jogo Bonito in the wind. We've had both sides make a couple of these. And Philip Dobrovsky, headband tied around his dome. I'm not sure if they've scored an open point yet, the, the Polsky. So this is a, a good opportunity to do so. That one could be gathered up, and it's a great goal. Brilliant cough from the back of the stack. Yeah. Throw was right on the spot, and that's a break for KWR. Only one point behind now at 7-6. Yeah, you mentioned, like, so the way it's the first round of games is seeded is, is uh, thanks to Windmill's prediction contests, they average out the average predictions, and then obviously the person with the lowest average prediction, as in team favor to do the best, it's the first seed, and so on all the way down. And then in the mixed division with 40 teams, seed one plays seed 21, and two plays 22, and so on and so forth, up until 20 playing 40. So theoretically, each game should be the same talent distance apart. I think it's the theory. And so, well, if you're going to get blowouts, this is the round where they're most likely to happen. Yeah, if you want to see extremely accurate predictions, you can go to that contest and look for a, a prediction under Liam is greater than Lorcan, and you will see it far more accurate than everyone else combined. I was I, really surprised that Lorcan predicted Pelt to finish top of all three divisions, despite them not being here. But yeah, he's going to do what he's going to do. It's a do, bold it? move. It was a bold move. See if it pays off. I actually predicted KWR maybe around 15th, 16th. What about Jogo? Um, I stupidly did not realize they were good. Or, or I was told they weren't as good. And I had them, I think, almost lower than KWR. Which, Ooh, spicy. Uh, which I regret. I, I don't want people to know. So I, I actually, we're going to erase that. I'm going to go back through this clip and delete that and say, I think they're going to do really well. That's, Top eight. That's, what that's, that's, not, that's not how the internet works, dude. <laughs> That's going to be a pick. They're just going to cause it, a little stop. It's how it works in China. Uh, yeah, again, <laughs> sort of not really, but fine. I, I, will, I did the very smart thing with my predictions and forgot to do them, so no one can call me wrong. <laughs> I think I came third last year in predictions. Wow. As, as I did in the open division with Pals, but um, I, I'm convinced Bragg. I'm going to beat Ravi in predictions. I, th I think for a lot of people, the, the, the prime scalp is going to be beating the Eurozone guys, isn't it? Yeah. Put a big target on their back. Oh, hello. Uh, we've got a little friend who's come jogging down the sideline. It's Jogo just working around the back. Maybe we'll be able to get this guy on camera in a sec. Yeah, I think we should solely focus on Herbie, who's now on the sideline. The big elephant. Disregard the game. Ooh, uh, Love that man. Is it a man? Who knows? I don't know if Herbie has a gender. Oh, or... it's gonna pop up and oh. oh, I nearly got it. Three meters, Herbie. Three meters. <laughs> <laughs> One trunk length away from the sideline, please, Herbie. Uh, there's gonna be a foul called on that deep shot. It was uh, nearly mopped up anyway, but. Uncontested foul from Dobronovsky. So Jogo Benito will stay in possession of the disc. After this point, I'm going to give you exclusive news of what our next streamed games are going to be. Whoa. Yeah, I know, right? Hashtag Benji drops bombs. <laughs> it's a really nice defense, actually, from, Pol from the Poles. And hope to get a swing on. Oh, he's going to... Pound it deep, it's gonna float. 
and it's just going to tail towards that break side and Dobrodovsky gets there first. Puts a little hammer out and then just puts it away. Spiotrzyk on this near sideline. Also known as the Gobbler, <laughs> as of recently. Uh, Dobrodovsky's going to take a timeout, nice and sensible. He's going to lose all the fantasy points at the end, but kind of feel he's not focused about that. Obviously, this is important for uh, KWR to get this in, because if they do, well, it'll be three on the bounce for them as well, and it'll take us into Galaxy Point. Whoa. Oh, yeah, I love Whoa. a bit of Galaxy Point. So, actually, rather right to the end of the point, we're going to use this timeout to tell you what we've got coming up next. So, on this field, we've got women's division action between uh, Finland's Helsinki and the uh, German national champions, Mainzel Mansion. Should be a very, very spicy game. And on the pitch behind us, We've got forward from uh, Vienna, Austria, I think. Is that right? I'm pretty sure that's right. Yeah. Versus uh, Is No Good from France. I think both those teams are going to go to Worlds as well. That so, is correct. So, yeah, a bit of bit of spice in these next two matchups. They are uh, pretty pretty exciting, I've, I've got to be honest. I like those. I like those a lot. So that's what I love about Swiss draw. Already, it's, that's only the second round of games already. Like, oh, damn, those are really, really good matchups. It's just good to see. Uh, you're going to have Elle and Sarah commentating on this pitch next up. And Hillary on Gigi and the pitch behind us. Oh, we get a break. Nice, get the beers in. Yeah, I will be in a tent somewhere unconscious for the next uh, 70 minutes after this. If you'd like to join me, I'll try and do my own Facebook Live of Liam sleeping in a tent. Uh, I'm going to go and play miniature tanks in the showers. Nice. Strong stuff. Nice. Nice. Kenny are going to break from this timeout. They're going to get a chance to set up their offense. Joko Benito will adapt their defense around it. Uh, if I'm Dobrodowski, I'm tempted just to roast it deep. It's been pretty effective for them so far. You know what? I almost thought you were Dobrodowski uh, yesterday in Goldtimate. Um, throwing all sorts of stuff. I think a Tummer assist in Goldsmith yesterday, was that, is that correct, Benji? Did well, that happen? Me? Yeah. That did happen, yeah. I didn't even remember that as the moment of uh, Windmill 2018. I mean, I certainly won't. <laughs> <laughs> Goldsmith was a lot of fun, actually, thanks to the guys from USA Goldsmith, uh, Skip and uh, Eric came down as well. It was nice for them to put that on for us and yeah, just show something a little bit different you can do. Goldsmith was a lot of fun. Oh, God, isn't it exhausting, though? It was rather exhausting, yes. I think usually people play with a lot less running instead of picks and more like kind of uh, yeah. like three and three basketball, but they were playing ultimate like ultimate, which was a bit meh. I'm also going to put down to the fact that I am ill. Oh, there we are. There's the deep put from Dobronovsky. Oh, and a bit of a misread. You got too far underneath that held up and probably should have just continued on a run. Going to get some good field position with it, though, so uh, not all bad. But, oh, look, it's, I think, yeah, that's our first turnout of the weekend. Exciting times. Love a good turnout. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can get this Galaxy Point. I mean, no offense to Jogger Benito, but I love Galaxy Point, so I'm kind of rooting against them for this one point. Normally, I show no bias to either side. Whatsoever and all, just two def two receivers went to the same space and kind of boxed each other out. And this is good field position here. We could be on our Milky Way right now. Let's see if it happens. Dobrodovsky jinking and jiving. Little shake and bake gets free there. Oh, Scuba! And is knocked down. I thought that was going to go through and... Nice heads up defense from Jogo just to snap it to the ground. Trying to thread through the eye of a needle there, but um, denied by the claws of Jogo. Yeah, risky decision there to put it through the middle of the pitch. Obviously, with the lefty, the hammer's not quite the option, but maybe a thumber would have been the beneficial throw there. Yeah, had he been watching the goal. Genuinely, game yesterday. genuinely, not even me joking, would have taken it over the defenders and out of reach. Not that you ever see anyone throw thumbers in games, really, and more's the pity. Is 
is no good. Go jogging past in front of us. Deep shot goes up from Jogo. Oh, that's nice. Run of the money. Looking for the continuation for the goal. And it's going to be an 8 6 half time lead for Jogo Bonito. Ah, their galaxy goes awry there as we see David Price smiling and Jogo scoring. And we've lost galaxy points, you know. That's. <sighs> Disgraceful behavior from Jogo, if you ask me. Yes, it's a, a real sad day for a universe in general. Uh, our production manager, Mike, has just put on a, a fancy personalized Freeze Beast jersey. That's nice. Did he get, he get that, did he? Was that uh, a, a I, gift? Or? I, I, I'm, I'm assuming it's for helping out doing all the live streaming at Tom's. That's nice. Oh, I'm so glad I couldn't make Tom's this year. You missed out. It was a good tournament. But on, on the bright side, uh, last year broke me, so it was kind of a good thing. <laughs> I heard, I heard you just put the whole live stream on your back and carried it. I mean, I'm not saying that I did the entire thing myself, but I might have done 16 games in two days. That's a lot. And then fall asleep at the party. <laughs> Truly, go hard or go home. Again, KWR staying in touching distance, but um, Yogo happy to have that two-point cushion. It's been pretty tit for tat, though. Yeah, it's been a back and forth, a bit of. I, I'm not going to use this phrase "swing to momentum" because I kind of, I kind of don't think momentum exists in that context. I think it's one of those very after-the-fact things we can say. Oh yeah, that was a big momentum shifting play. And obviously the thing with momentum is every, one side's got the momentum until all of a sudden the other side's got the momentum. So, you know. Anyway, enough of my crackpot theories. What have you got planned in, our, uh, in terms of the evening entertainment, Liam? Are you going to be entering the beer race this evening? Um, as you know, all Irish people have no interest in organised fun. It's just, it's just not something we can do. Someone's like, come have fun, 8 o'clock, this place is time. No, that's not happening. We just find a weird bit of string and start chasing it around. I don't know. We, we like to create our own mischief, and I will not be participating in anything organised fun. Albeit oh. very fun and well organised. But It is well organised and it is very fun, but not, 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 your, not your style. Not my style. Well, I mean, should we just go, uh, when this game's finished, should we just go and do some sock wrestling in the ball pit? That is more my style. That is more my style. You're on. So, Jogo Benito and KWR get their set sevens on the pitch. Uh, and this is where we find out actually who pulled to start the game, because I forgot, because we <laughs> uh, were having a little bit of a changeover, because in our defense, that's because it's because Freezebees and, uh, and KFUM overran, and it turns out that Jogo Benito actually started on D. So they're in a really powerful position here. Chance to do the old two for none. What was your impression of the Yonkers brothers in that last Frisbees game? They're good, aren't they? Like yeah. having, having Ref and PJ on the same team, like two of the best deep receivers in Europe, is a bit unfair. It's a tiny bit unfair. But they're like, it's crazy how young they are as well. It's a bit, it's a bit unfair. What were they, 18 and 20? Yeah, they're 18 years old and 20 years old and already way too good, ultimate. Oh, and a big D there. Yeah, can we get the turn? So they've got a chance to reduce the deficit to start this second half and that will be what they needed. Got to get the feeling that three with the time running down would be a bit of maybe an insurmountable margin, but of course, obviously with Swiss draw, every point matters. That's a nice hurry. So I flick towards that break side. Oh, it's going to pop over, and a couple of people converged on it, hoping to maybe get a layout save, but it was too far for all of them. Joe will work it up the middle. Pretty standard, honest offense from the Polish. Works out well. Gets a D on the under. Quick transition offense. Looking for the overhead to the end zone, but thinks better of himself. Now, the, 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 again, a couple faking this, faking those overheads, put them back in the locker and try to work it down the four side, but Jogo get the block.
swinging it around the back to start for Jogo. Not really going anywhere forward as yet. There's a nice cut up the line. Throws a tiny bit behind, but makes the catch anyway. That's just going to hit the turf. Harmlessly coming to nothing for Jogo. So Piatrzyk brings it back in. Bit of a messy start to the second half. Maybe both teams just uh, need to get their feet under them after that little break for half time. That's a nice throw. Finds a receiver underneath. A nice to the break side. Oh, that's a huge grab by Kozmowski. And that's a huge turf by Kozmowski. <laughs> All right, fair cop, you got me there. <laughs> that's a drink, isn't it? Yeah, I know the rules. Yeah, you cursed that man. If at this point, if there's not, if the, if someone hasn't created a windmill commentary commentary drinking game by the time final day comes around, we haven't done our job properly. Gonna put it deep. It's gonna hit. It's gonna float on. Oh, nice oh. grab. Dominating the deep space of Jogo Benito. And it was a messy start to the second half, but they do convert for a 9 6 lead. You go for Jogo. Getting the goal. Leading by example. She was getting really arrived up there at halftime. Getting ready to go. Patting all her team in the back, saying, let's drive on. And uh, gets the goal there in the upwind. Really important score. So this, so this Jogo Benito, they're, they're players from all over the place, right? I think quite a lot from Berlin. I think there's a kind of a Wall City Berlin vibe. A few from uh, the east coast of the US. And uh, I think there's a few scattered here and there, but um, definitely a, a German Berlin influence. Good, thanks, thanks for that. Is that some ways? Well, we, we can watch the, well, we should watch the video now of the, they introduce their team and where they came from, their story. They do a hype video. They do a lot of hype. They're 80% hype, 20% hype hype. <laughs> Double hype. 80% hype. It's like, it's like hip. Yeah, they're now entering a hyperdrive, as we see, coming out in defense. Dobrovsky's going to take the brick, which is probably what I would have done there. You're making a lot of comparisons between yourself and Dobrovsky. I mean, clearly we're both long-rangey athletes. <laughs> There was a player who was playing for KFUM who wears the same cleats I do, so I identified with him, even though he's like the complete opposite body type. Here's the other Dobronovsky, Lukash. The two Dobronovsky brothers just working it around the back. Just trying to keep it in the family. That's a nice leading backhand. We're going to get that far sideline now is for Troba. He's got a reset. Dobrowski gets up line. Gonna try and squeeze it in for his brother. Uh, go on, bro. You have that one. I'm trying to think of a witty Japan, but I couldn't find one in time. <laughs> that was a family point there. I think they maybe passed each other 20 times. Very rarely did this touch anyone else. But they looked so good handling together. They really know each other like to move. Look early, nice leading passes, and that was um, a great up and score. Yeah, I've heard the song a few times this weekend, so I'm going to reference it. In the words of the uh, great philosopher Mary J. Blige, it's a family affair. <laughs> and now you've got that, now you're going to have that song in your head for the rest of the day, audience. Enjoy it, it's a banger. We even need to get into the Wind Millennials theme, Liam. I don't, I'm not sure if I have. I was wearing a lot of denim yesterday and I thought that was a millennial thing, which didn't make any sense to me. I don't have Snapchat. I'm, I'm not sure what millennials are. I think I'm just off the cusp. No, I don't think you are. <laughs> That's what I tell myself anyway. I think a lot of people, have, but the thing is with this, a lot of people have questioned whether they are millennials or not. I think if you have to question it, you probably are. Who am I? Nobody knows. <laughs> you're, a ma you're a mystery wrapped in a puzzle, wrapped in an enigma. What's after millennials? Generation Y? Generation Z? No, all I know is that the baby boomers ruined everything. Yeah, that's all we know. And they, they blame us for everything. Hi, baby boomers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Please don't switch off. If you've somehow managed to get the stream on your iPad, because you're terrible at technology, fair play to you. Uh, I think it's, I think it's a George Orwell quote about technology. It's like any technology that's made when you're a teenage, when you're a child, is is normal. Any technology that's made when you're an adult is a breakthrough, and any technology that's made when you're old is a step too far. Goes for the big down the sideline. Does a very good job of dissuading that from going, and instead just takes a swing to the middle. Beautifully controlled on her face there, and that, that one just a step too far as well as he bangs into the disc. Players is going to get back into position. Reset clears through. Takes the second option. Inside flick there. Downfield low release backhand. Right on this sideline option in the middle is going to be taken. Deep shot looking towards that back cone. If it stays in bounds, oh, this is going to be a tricky grab. Went for the toe in. I don't see whether he got it from this point of view. Uh, the, the closest man to the disc, the Polish player calling him out, which you kind of have to go with him. Didn't look like anyone else had a great view. It would have been a spectacular grab if he got it. Wait, what about? We could clearly see it exactly inch perfectly from here. You can see it on the replay. Ooh. Yeah, you've got, you, can't, you can't see the line. <laughs> So we'll trust that it was out, and he's going to call the timeout as well. Take a little breath as the rain begins to spatter down as well. Nine seven to Jogo, the current score. Yeah, Jogo preparing for this tournament by going to uh, Paris Fashion Week and uh, throwing their stuff on the catwalk. I think that's uh, really helped them grow as a team. Clearly they're taking that confidence. Yeah, that's swagger. <coughs> did there be a catwalk at Windmill at one point? There was a catwalk at Windmill. We did have a fashion show, which I starred in, obviously. Obviously. I think now we're getting a chance to talk to one of... Uh, the Yoga Bonitos um, crew talked to them about their, their fashion uh, dreams and icons. And uh, a quick word now. I think I'm here with Mr. Shepard. That's correct. Sam Shepard, if I'm... That's correct, Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard. So, Coming uh, in from the Big Apple, New York City. Welcome to the stream, Sam. Tell us a little about the journey of, of Yoga Bonito and what, what we need to know about this team. Well, Yoga Bonito started as an idea back in New York City with a couple of us. They just wanted to live good, feel good, play good. And uh, it's... Really evolved into a team. Not so much a team, it's more of a lifestyle, and that's what brought us all together on the field. So you're more of a fashion brand than an ultimate team, is that correct? We're more of a lifestyle than a fashion brand. A I lifestyle, would say. okay, I get you. I'm, I'm following the page now. And so if you want to like buy, buy the jerseys, buy it, get into this lifestyle, what do you need to do? How do we get involved? Uh, you can visit jogobonitosocialclub.com or uh, look out for Mr. Gaffney, Christian Gaffney, the, the leader of the pack. How do you think this game is going so far? I think it's good. I think it started out a little sloppy, but everyone's sort of getting into place on both teams, and we're starting to see some good ultimate. Great spirit over there by calling himself out, and uh, it's looking like a good game. I was saying earlier, you're actually more of a kind of a scarecrow than a team at the time. You're mostly here to stand in the field and scare Team Radio Shower. How's that going? Are they scared? I think they're scared shitless if you look at the hype video. I've seen the hype video and there's, there's, I couldn't, couldn't agree more. They looked very scared. I, I think they're actually going to pull out of the tournament. That's, that's the way yeah, I see things that's, going. That's the rumor on the field that they'll play until they have to see the Jogo Benito social. Club. I heard about um, a song they sang you once though at a previous tournament. We had the spirit off, and I think you came out uh, on bottom on that one. Uh, you know, I wasn't at that tournament, so I can't speak to that. Yeah. Okay. It's probably lies. Okay. Yeah, I'd say it's uh, that's propaganda. <laughs> propaganda from Team Radio Shower. That's all they are, folks. You heard it here first. Yeah. Sam, thanks very much for joining yeah, us. We'll get you. Benji back in the mic. And uh, looking forward to seeing more. Thank you. Pleasure being out here, boys. Great non-biased advice there from Sam Shepard. <laughs> Rocking that tash as well. Yes. Love it. Giovanito trying to force it in, and they're going to squeeze it in with a lasered 
inside forehand. They're opening their three point margin at 10 7. And we saw another turnout there. It's KWR's second turnout this game. Don't do it, folks. And if you're wondering why Sam's voice sounded lovely, it was in fact that mustache creating murmurations of his voice as the vibrates through the follicles of that beautiful soup strainer. And that's, that's key to getting a good voice on stream. I, on the other hand, use a combination of alcohol and low self-esteem to give a nice, clean, crisp sound. I, I'm going with the infection method. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a in, uh, bold move. It's Just confirm the internet is not contagious. Everyone listening will be fine. Except you, you might be in trouble. Yeah, yeah, I meant you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know who I mean. See the teams for our next game is warming up around us. It was a, the wind's died down a little bit compared to where it was earlier when we had a, a few a few discs hitting our scaffold, which was less than ideal. And we see Clapham, I think, sporting their new kit. Ooh, where's that? And you're on your left, you'll see um, a quite a simple design. Red Clapham, it's got some stars. It also has uh, the bullfrog on the back. Oh, is, is that a drop pull? You distracted me at exactly the wrong moment, Liam. I think I distracted the player as well. Clearly did not. Uh, get looking at the jerseys and bam, gonna first throw. You cannot get an easier point than that if you're Jogo Benito, the easiest break that I'll ever have. And 11-7 the scoreline now, things looking pretty dire for KWR in terms of winning the game, but obviously Swiss draw, every point matters, so you've got to keep fighting. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Put that in your back pocket. You won't, as you said, won't get easier. Just first throw score. And obviously you never want to drop the pool, but I still think it's the right thing to do to catch it, especially if it's not that difficult to catch. Like, the benefits for catching it are so I think so far outweigh the, the low chance you've got of dropping it. I'm always terrified catching balls. I don't know why. Never ca terrified catching a pancake catch otherwise, but for some reason the ball... So one of my coaches always said when she went to catch the ball, she had a voice in the head of her coaches. One of them going, it's really important to catch the ball. It's really important to catch the ball. Another one of my coaches going, it's the easiest catch I'll ever make. There's no one. Uh, there's no one around you. You can just take your time, and then uh, I think yeah, I think the final voice is Bob's going. It's so easy, but you can't do it. It's like, which is exactly the last thing you want in your head. And then now, having since heard that story, I've also got that in my head when I go to catch the pool. Dobronovsky's gonna bang it deep. I don't know if he's gonna get the right edge on it though. And it never gets a chance to come back in. There's an uncontested foul. So he's going to get another shot of that. I, I think Glastonbury rules do it again. I think, yeah. Uh, you see Alicia Stebb there downfield. Definitely has the, the height mismatch. Had some yards. He has get more inside out. And he could be all right. That will just go for a hammer. Make it spicy. Oh, that's a nice low grab by his brother Lukas. Oh, and that's uncharacteristic of them. I was going to say they're usually so solid, the pair, and you want them on that O-line handling, but um, they just gave it away for the first time. This is a sky ball. Oh, a bit of a hospital pass. A maelstrom of receivers under it, and none of them are going to get there. And we just hear the time cap going, so this game will be ending shortly. I yep. think it'll be finished the point and add one. Is that the... That's the one. Literally, that's the one. Um, Just trying to dish it off. Oh, did a good job of putting it into space behind the, beyond the face marking defender. Catch the underneath. There's a free shot there, and they're going to give it to more Trover. There's the Beastie Boys goes on in the background. Love the Beastie Boys. Let's have a little groove up here in the commentary booth. Jen try and find Lukas Dobronovsky down the field and said, it comes for the swing. That should go. Lefty Io backhand. Boom goes the dynamite. Great body position and a beautiful throw. 
The brothers combine yet again for another beautiful score. So it's 11-8, game to 12. Tall ask for uh, KW to come back and win this game. But with Swiss draw, it really allows you to take it point by point because you score this point and we improve our coefficient and then we could score the next point and then before you know it, you could be in the universe. So I think that is now game two, 12. Game 12, I make it. You'll go signaling for uh, four women on this offensive point. Could be the last one if they bang it in. Yeah, of course, it changed a couple of years ago to uh, rather than being offense dictates to end zone dictates and the end zone switches at halftime as well. Yeah, you know, I just did a bit of rules for you all. Yeah, I, was, I, was, I knew that. I was just saying, but the air on offense. Yeah, yeah no, I know. I, I know, know, you know. Yeah, you I know, know you know. You? Did you know that I know? I, I assumed you knew, otherwise I'd be very surprised. Don't don't try and don't try and outstare me. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear us staring there on the, the microphone. I don't know, I think you can sometimes you can just hear a really steely glare. Let's try again. Well, yeah, you can feel the hatred come through the microphone. It's deafening. Absolutely deafening. It also sounds suspiciously like side like silence. <laughs> Paul's going to sink towards that far sideline. I think it's going to just about land in bounds. Uh, oh, hello. We've got a bit of zone going on. Bit of zone. Bang it out in game point. Why not? Yeah, I remember someone telling me that good teams don't lose without at least trying a zone. Oh, and they nearly got a turn in instantly. It's required athletic play there to keep it alive. Going to try and squeeze that down the sideline. That's a good shot. And they're going to try and jam it in the front cone. Nice toe in on that sideline. And that will do it for the Jogo Benito Social Club. And that's going to be game, I think. You go. Some woman for one woman. Again, grabbing the horns of this boar and just tearing them off and having them for breakfast. A pig on a spit, if you will. Oh, I could really go for some, like... Pig, pig. If I can eat one animal for the rest of my life, it probably would be pig. I think. Anyway, on to more important matters at hand. Both <laughs> teams going to slap hands. That is the end of the game. Jogo Benito with a 12-8 victory over KWR here. I've been Benjamin Reese, And I've been Liam Grant. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned because coming up on this pitch, we have Helsinki versus Mainzel Mansion. And we've got on field six behind us. Is no good versus forward. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in a bit. TV.